Alright. Dan the man versus Master Perch. Everybody's this is a this is a just press winner semis. Characters. Alright. Candy. candy Thief versus uh my man Sharpsay. You 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 like Falco, right? Shane? So so yeah. I I would expect hard body from Perch, but Dan is really good. I mean, it, 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 I feel like it's really just the characters. It's the char It's really the character more than the skill, yeah. But right now, um, you know, uh, D Dan's doing pretty good. This is a pretty good lead for uh, you know, for Charizard. Uh, let's see where this combo goes. Looks like no way, but some, you know. We take that damage, right? This is definitely where uh, Charizard suffers. Is like right. Uh, ooh, okay, that was pretty risky out there. If if, he, if Charizard got that grab, uh, uh, Bayonetta was definitely dead. I don't know about uh, if, uh, if uh, Bayonetta four throw would have killed Charizard though. Probably not. All right, going out deep for the. Well, uh, and I need the bullet arts to cancel his lag. Jab doesn't finish it. Oh, wow. Catches that flare blitz started up. That was really good. Up. So now, uh, now uh, Perch has got the lead here. <laughs> that was Vince out of the head uh, of Smash. Pretty unlucky for Dan. Yeah, he was buffering. He buffered a roll. Oh, okay, yep. That was really smart from Perch there. Waiting out the fly. This. Going up to. No, no, he. He, he perched wisely, he knew he wasn't dead, and just went for like up. Oh. Alright, back throw, no death. Yeah, that, the dab kick combos are definitely an adaptation to the way the SDI or DI. Uh, and it's a way to read that, like follow that instead of just doing the raw uh, afterburners. So let's see what Dan can do here. He's literally pushed off stage again. Down air. Wow, that's it. Hold. The down air is definitely Bayonetta's strongest kill move that's not a raw smash. Uh, and obviously a lot easier to land than that. Yeah. That sweet spot is obscenely strong. I killed Charizard at 114%. Zero rage on Bayonetta. Um, so, going into game two here. I'm going to see a switch to Town and City. This is probably Charizard's best option here. It's, it's still not great, obviously. But, like, it's still a, it's still a good option. It's still, like, probably his best choice here. Up throw follows a jump with the up air. Little little damage there, twenty four percent off that small combo. Doing a lot of uh, Perch doing a lot of empty hops here. How about that fair bat with it's out? He's really sort of spacing Dan out right now. Yeah. Oh okay, that's a unsafe uh, heel slide right there. Trying to catch that regular getup. I understand what he was going for, but uh, takes that punish, loses his lead more or less right here. Four there. Yep. Now. The problem Dan had last game is that he couldn't really sell out the stock. And I think that's a problem with Charizard in general. Is that this character is strong, but oh I was really I was really smart there, but bat within is just sort of screwing him over. Yeah, like Charizard is very strong, it's just No real kill controls other than like up throw and not as strong as you would want it to be. But this is like a Bowser or like a DK. You know, you have to you have to still have it's still a commitment in neutral. But anyway, Back to the actual match, not about Charizard's issues. I'm sure you know about him. Uh, Perch going out deep there, kind of baiting Dan. I See, try not to follow up. Uh, Flare Blitz doesn't... I probably could have witch time that, but still happens. Probably some suspect DI. Yeah, I, I think it might have just been like poor reaction. Is Dan taking the stock of that Flare Blitz? No shield from Perch right there. The shield probably could have taken the stock if he, off the recoil from that Flare Blitz. Now, Dan's SCI has been pretty good here, actually, I think. He's been falling out of it, which is pretty good for... Especially for being such a big Yeah, big character like Charizard doesn't easily get out. Down throw, going for the up air, not going to... That was yeah. ambitious, but no, no... No death, though, so... Nair hits him, toward, hits him to the left. Intercepts that, uh, okay. Again. I think... A perch, yeah, a perch gets the combo. He probably just up-smashed him, but, you know, wanted to, didn't want to risk it. Heel slide, probably big damage. Oh, wait, air dodge out of that first up tilt. Still getting comboed. Oh, 44% right there off one heel slide. Yeah. 
He's uh, shielding. Ooh. Yeah, like nah, yeah, he <laughs> bat within through that four there, and is that? No, he has four there. I don't know if that was intentional. Probably. Now this is oh, okay. Uh, which time right there gets caught out. Ooh, almost gets bodied by that back air. Is that gonna? No. I was gonna say. Oh, and that is it. Ouch. Okay. Ne Dan, maybe a little too high there. Mm -hmm. So maybe you know, I, I think he was like re I don't know, I don't remember how he got into that situation exactly, but I think, I think he was uh, reaching a little too I think, much. Yeah, I think he was just trying to go up there and uh, like, like oh. contest his landing. Yeah. And then he just he got him. Yeah. So up 2-0 for Master Perch. See if Dan can uh, get this get get him get his name on the board here. Game two a lot better than game one for sure though. No, no. <laughs> Perch Perch has heard about these uh, just press play gift cards. Oh, yeah. And he's like, all right, not messing around. But so did Dan, and he's come out here to play right now. To just, <laughs> to just press play. Catches out, perches out, uh, aerial movement with a nair there. Catches with the up air right afterwards. Pretty good spacing for Dan. Follows the, follows the movement with a grab. Flame breath, not really doing anything. I don't even know if that can contest Bayonetta's up B. Bayonetta's up B, pretty wild. And like, I, th I think like the Bayonetta like, hitboxes from the up B like, beats it out. Uppy's out of shield there. Go, tries to follow his movement. Oh wow, Dan's slow in the punish. Ah, that would, he's gonna lose the stock for that. Yeah, that was not not worth it. First of all, he's just going for these combos and these punishes. And like, I, it always like scares me, but I think Smash is better. Yeah. He ends up taking the stock anyway. Okay, that's the. First going wild. Yeah, he got. I think he might have lost his jump. He got hit by like part of the Uppy. Um, not sure, of course. Check the VODs. <laughs> Flame Breath here, trying to, you know, force... Alright, catches out that heel slide. Forward air. That was in doubt. Now, Dan's actually in a pretty good spot now after that unfortunate first stock. Alright, down tilt. Ooh, Perch down tilting the wrong way after that. You could reset the combo. Dash that. That looks like... Alright, wave. Oh, what? I still don't... I still don't... He didn't get punished for that. I still don't like it that much, though. Okay, that was really good. Catches the... Frame trap right there, forward air. Another which time? I don't. Dan's been playing fairly patient this game, except for when he's going for these like uppies, and it's really showing. Perch is struggling to land right now. Oh, this could be. Wait, it's kind of stale though. So. Oh my god! Brutal stock right there. I did not expect that to kill, but 3-0 for Master Purge. Pretty close to the last two games, though. A bit of, that combo was a bit of a... Yeah. In winners' finals, I think we'll be jumping over to losers first. Probably see, we'll see Justin versus someone there. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, so, and then uh, Dio versus um, Intimidate. Me match.